Matthias Beck again. This time we're going to look closer at four different puffer jackets. These jackets are made of a kind of synthetic isolation and you use them sometimes under a jacket, you use them uh, as an outer layer. It's different kind of jackets for different kind of juice. These jackets are not brand new. They are used for several years, some of them. So I know what I'm talking about. If you don't know me, my name is Matti and I run this YouTube channel together with my girlfriend and partner in the company and we are living as nature guide and dog mushers so you will see more about that if you go to the channel but now we're talking about these jackets the first jacket we start with is houdini dune 3 that means houdini without down and this is a synthetic jacket and when you make a synthetic jacket like this their goal is to make something where you don't need to pull the feathers of these birds because this is how you actually get the down. You usually have a bird pull this down away from the bird and that's very, very painful for the bird. So that's why you should look at this uh, synthetic fiber in the jackets. Of course, sometimes even I, I use down jackets and down sleeping bags also, but I try to avoid it of that reason. 529 gram. This jacket, when I got it for several years ago, I was not happy with it directly because very very quickly I get small holes in the fabric I get really quickly problem with the zipper and so on I have used it and as you see um, it is it is used um, I have to tape it on several places of course this jacket have been my isolation jacket I have used it as an outer layer for for two years maybe when I've been in the mountain. So it's not strange it's looked like this. I use it for dog sledding, I use it for different activities and now the last year I also use it for when I go out feeding the dogs. It's not strange that uh, it's really break down like this. So this is not the brand new jacket. When you look at the type of jacket you see on the fabric, you see that the fabric don't have stitches through it. This fabric is actually, this is good that it's breaking down. This fabric is in a big piece like this. And what's really good with this, this don't collapse when it's wet. This isolation stay as isolation over the whole jacket. If you compare this to a down jacket, when the down get wet, it collapse and falling down. So that's why you have all these stitches through. And another bad thing with the stitches through is that you get the, uh, uh, it's compressed where you have the stitches. So if it's just a two layer fabric with down inside or two layer fabric with isolation inside, the stitches take away the isolation at these lines actually. I don't know if you understand what I mean. But this have been with me when it have been super, super wet. It have been, soaking wet and it still works of course it's not nice to be uh, so wet but sometimes you end up very wet <laughs> the weak point of this jacket is the zipper uh, i had problem with this zipper quite directly it's it have never break down totally but it have made giving me a lot of problem but I have all the time been able to, to unzip and close it. But if you look here, the zipper is like this. So it is not correct anymore. This have uh, quite quickly something break with the zipper. So uh, that happened already the first winter, already after some weeks. But it's amazing. It haven't really let me down. It's still, it's still closing, but it's a little bit different to cl close it sometimes. Because usually when the zipper break down, they totally fail and they totally break down and you can't close the jacket. That haven't happened with this jacket. This jacket is also windproof. It's okay to wear it under a Gore-Tex jacket or something like that. But when you do that, you have double layers of windproof material 
so this will contain more moisture than if you have just uh, something like this under your uh, shell jacket. The hood is okay. The hood is not really closing over your head. You see, it's coming like this. So it's not really closing up. It don't give you totally protection for, for the weather. But it's, it's okay because it stay there if it's hard wind, it's not blowing away and you can adjust it so it stays quite nice. And the hood is really important when you are up in the mountain and when you get snowstorm and heavy winds. This jacket, the outer layer, the fabric, have uh, been a little bit sensitive. It's maybe not use, made for what I use it for. Maybe my use is too rough for this jacket. But anyway, you see, I used it several years and then I, here it's burned uh, and it's still possible to use it. So I would say that this jacket is actually quite okay if you compare to, to how much, how many hours and days and weeks I've been living in it. And uh, so this is Houdini Dunfri and uh, yeah. It's a good jacket. It's actually very nice to uh, tell you that some stuff is quite okay. So now we move on to a Norrena jacket. This called Norrena Lofoten Alpha. I don't really know if you still can get it. This is 530 gram. So it, it's very similar to the other one we checked. First of all, I think the main reason why I bought this jacket is the color. Look, I love this green color. It's so beautiful. Orange, number one. But this green is really lovely. Now I have had it for some years. But my really first impression is that this material is really crappy. It's really soft and really uh, not windproof if you do like this. So this was not what I expected. When I bought it I wanted a windproof jacket that I can use at the outer layer and this was not the case with this jacket. It also have a, this kind of um, net inside and I maybe get a few small holes but not much. This net looks super bad, but it's, it is not bad. And actually the same with the fabric. It's not super bad. Of course there is small holes and so, but if you use your clothes you will get holes on them. But it's not super bad. This jacket is one of these four jackets that I haven't used as hard as the other ones, of course. Then we look at the isolation and this isolation is also in a big, um, big flat thing. So this don't collapse when it gets wet either. So this isolation is something I also really, really is happy with because it stays warm even when it's wet. And that's one of the big reasons actually why you should not choose down. Down collapse when it's wet and this synthetic is not collapsing when it's wet. The hood is not, uh, you can't really, the hood is not good if you want to use it as an outer layer. But this jacket is not the outer layer. This jacket is something that you should put a windproof or rainproof layer on top of. And because this is not, it's ventilating a lot, this jacket. So this is really, really good because when you have um, a cotton jacket or if you have a Gore-Tex jacket you want the uh, humid, humid air to, to ventilate it away. You don't want it to stock under, uh, under a layer like this one. So this is a jacket that you should use as a mid layer. It's not the outer layer. And if you know that, that was my mistake when I bought it. I bought something I thought I could use as outer layer and it's not. I would say this is a good jacket if you need a mid-layer. 
but it's 500 gram and I probably would choose something with wood or something instead of this. So this jacket, I'm happy with it. I will not buy it again, but it's, um, yeah, it's a good jacket also, not for me. I'm going to talk about the next jacket. That's Mountain Equipment Super Flux. I don't know if it's the correct. Yeah, Super Flux, Super Flux. That one is 482 gram. So this is the lightest jacket of these ones. And it's also very compact. It's, uh, you can squeeze it and uh, it will be very compact. We open it. This jacket is the same category as the other ones. This jacket is uh, like a down jacket without down. So this is a synthetic jacket again. And, but this one has a different kind of isolation. You see that uh, it's a lot of small pockets here where this isolation stays in. The outer fabric on this jacket, if you check it like this, it's windproof. I really like that it's windproof. And it's also a little bit water resistant. This outer fabric, of course, you get small holes in, in, um, in the fabric. And uh, you, I burn them with the fire and I get scratches from dogs and I get small holes. And this is from the first week I had it. I come too close to a chimney from a wood stove and uh, yeah but you, you just tape it I think it's beautiful when when you can see on a jacket that it's used so the outlay fabric is is quite good with this jacket and if we look at the zippers the zipper of this one have never let me down and the zipper is still really really good it's really sturdy and it's robust and it's easy to handle so this zipper is something I, I really like it's of course a YKK UK zipper, so it's, it's a really good zipper on this one and I had no problem with it. And now we come to the really really downside of this jacket, the isolation. Already in the beginning I get this jacket and I took off for the mountains and I couldn't really send it back because I needed it. And it's uh, the, the isolation have collapsed, totally collapsed. It collapsed very, very quickly after I start using it. So if you look here, there is no isolation in some here and there is isolation under here. Same here, no isolation here. And there is, the isolation have been like small balls in some places here. And then there is no isolation in other places. So this jacket, is uh, the isolation is really 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 bad and the reason why you buy a synthetic jacket one of the reasons is because you don't want the down to collapse this have almost the same bad thing as um, the down jacket the, pro the good thing with the down jacket is that you wash it and it's okay again this jacket even if I wash it whatever I do I tumble it and so on. This is not okay. I can't use It's no isolation here. Don't get this mountain equipment super flux because this is not a good way, a jacket. If you, oh, maybe you live in the desert or something like that, then it's maybe good for you where it's super dry. But for me, I've been super disappointed. You see me using it in several videos, but if I buy a jacket, I use it. I don't, I don't afford and I don't want to buy a jacket and not using it. So that was a bad jacket. And now the last jacket. This one is Black Diamond Belly Parka. I have one and Stina have one. You can see some on the videos, Stina have a green, yellow, greenish, super beautiful jacket from this. 930 gram 930 gram and you see it's bigger than a sleeping bag actually so this is a huge jacket it's maybe not okay to compare this with the other ones but it is a synthetic jacket and 
I want you to know that there is different levels of this and this is a jacket that I'm actually quite happy with. This jacket is windproof. This jacket is weather, weather resistant. And I have stayed in light rain with it. I have stayed in snowstorm with it. I have used it in heavy wind and it really protect me. This jacket, of course, there is some small holes and um, I have used it for uh, almost the whole season, almost, I think, no, two months, two, three months. And if you look, the hood give a little bit of a kind of weather protection for my face. Not super good, but it's a kind of weather protection, so it's okay. I'm happy with the big pockets everywhere. When we look at the isolation in this jacket, this isolation is also in big uh, pieces and it's not collapsing when it's wet. The zipper, anyway, is um, very good quality. I just used it for three months, so actually I don't really, really know. And when I start looking at the fabric, it's not really even a big hole somewhere. Ah, here I have a big, a small hole. This is a hole from a sparkle from the fire probably. Steen have a similar jacket. It's greenish, light green, yellow, and she have used it for two seasons, I think. And she's super happy with her jacket. It's really good. So if you need a really warm puffer jacket, this jacket is not made for uh, hikers who want a lightweight backpack and you want to stuff it into nothing. This jacket is not made for you because this is too bulky, it's too heavy. But this jacket is a really good winter jacket for a dog musher or uh, if you're driving snowmobile or whatever. This is, this is a good one. It's not the warmest one. I use also even more heavy duty parkas when it's really, really cold. But then I have this under, as an under layer sometimes if it's really cold. So if we make a summary of this, this jacket is the one you should pick if you need an outlayer, uh, more heavy duty jacket for snowmobile tours, um, down to maybe minus 15, 20 degrees. I use the, only this, we talk about Celsius. So down to minus 15, 20 Celsius, I use only this jacket as an outer layer. If it's colder, I put, need extra. This is a little bit water resistant and the isolation don't collapse when it's wet. I love this jacket. Then we go to Houdini Dunfri. This is a jacket that uh, you can use it as an outer layer, but you can also use it under another jacket. This is still over 500 gram, but it's quite small when you pack it. Not as small as a down jacket. Um, the fabric is okay, the zipper is bad, but it's not collapsing when it's wet. This is an okay jacket, actually. And then we come to Norrena jacket, Norrena Lofoten. And this Norrena Lofoten is not a jacket that protect you um, as outer layer. It's not windproof, but it have good transmission. It's sending away the moisture from your body. So, but I still don't know if I choose this uh, before a wool pullover or something like that, or a fleece jacket, because it's also something like 500 grams. It's not collapsing when it's wet, that's good. But uh, this jacket was not a good jacket for me, maybe. But the jacket itself is very good. It's much more sustainable than it looked like. And then we come to the really, really sad thing. Mountain Equipment Superflux. This jacket have a good zipper and a good outer fabric. But the isolation collapsing and you buy this jacket because you need isolation and the isolation collapse when it's wet. I wouldn't get this one again. But it's nice with a blue jacket too. <laughs> so.
So, and there is one more important thing with this jacket. You have seen me using all these jackets in the videos probably. And now you see, only because I use this blue jacket, it's not good. You can't look at a YouTube video and just look what do people use and then you think that, ah, that's a good thing they're using. Because if, if I buy something, I use it, even if it's not good for a while. Um, so you can't really trust what you see. You must, um, you must look at these um, reviews when people have used them a while. You can't really even trust people who get a new jacket and just put it on and they tell them all the details about the jacket. That's not a really good review. You really had to see after a while how is a jacket after five months, after five, three years or whatever. I don't know how long you use your jacket. And I want to know what is your favorite jacket with isolation because I will probably need a lightweight, lightweight jacket that I can use for hiking. I want it to be small, I want it to be lightweight, I want it to be wind and weatherproof, I don't want it to collapse when it gets wet. If you have some advice of that jacket, please leave a comment down here. I would be really happy to get some advice from you. I think that's all from me today. So here is a black diamond jacket. Do you want it? See you next time. Ciao!